Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know about the person that is on your mind when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what you need to know we have hiding secrets. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> we also have the strength card and we have the temperance card here. All right. So when it comes to what this person doesn't want you to know, they've been hiding some secrets from you. For some of you, if this person has been holding back from you, it's because they have some things going on behind the scenes that they don't want you to know about. Now, for others of you, I feel as though this person, they have a lot of passion for you. For some of you, this person doesn't want you to know that they feel weak for you. So I feel like this person has a tendency to hold back from you so that they can appear to be um, more in control of themselves. But really, in reality, you're this person's weakness. Now, with this energetic message being here stating, I'm not going anywhere, this is someone that does not want to let you go. Even if the two of you are not currently dealing with one another, this person feels as though things can be healed between the two of you and everything will end up working out, okay? So, this is someone that has a weak spot for you, but they don't want you to know. Also, I feel like this person likes for you to overextend. And they'll allow you to do that in order to boost their confidence or to make themselves feel more in control. I feel like this is someone that may have control issues. So yeah, when it comes to this person, there's no competition when it comes to you. In their eyes, no one else can compete with you. But I feel like this person put you in competition with others in the past. That's the audacity here. They are wanting a new start. They're wanting a new beginning. But I also feel as though this person, they may be entertaining other options or they've gotten themselves involved with someone else. If they are in a relationship with another person, they're playing that person and they get a kick out of it. It's all an illusion. If they're dealing with someone else, they're making that person think they want to spend the rest of their life with them, that they want to marry them. But in reality... It's, it's all a facade. It's all a facade. This is someone that will do anything to get what they want. So there may be some opportunist energy here. Hmm. But someone wants to rekindle things from the past. They may also want to reconcile with you after an argument. So if the two of you did have any drama, any type of argument in the past, they do want to reconcile those things. But yeah, the audacity here is that this person actually, they like for you to compete with others. It boosts their ego, but they know that no one can compete with you because you're coming out as the empress, whether you're a male or a female. Make sure you don't come off your throne for this person or for anyone for that matter. Hmm. With the Wheel of Fortune being here, this person feels as though, as though the two of you are destined to be together. But for some of you, they're not telling you that. Also, I feel as though this person, they're very conflicted when it comes to you. I also feel as though they like to throw rocks and hide their hand. There's something about this person wanting you to fight for the connection. They may even do things to get a reaction or a response out of you. But spirit wants you to use your intuition when it comes to that. Make sure that you remain in control of your emotions. I feel like this person also is dealing with someone from their past. There's someone, if they have children with another person, they're dealing with that person or they're dealing with someone that... Someone from the past that wanted a serious connection with them. There's someone else that they're dealing with. Now, for a few of you, and this isn't for everyone, it's someone that they work with, but it's not a new person. 
it's also someone that they feel as though they can control very easily. So even if you know this person is in a whole committed relationship, they're doing some things on the side. That's all it is to it. But they're still remaining hopeful that the two of you will have a new beginning and work things out. They have a lot that they want to say to you. Also, be careful when this person... When they come in with communication, be careful because they're going to be telling a lot of lies. They're talking to a lot of different people. They also like to keep you in a state of confusion or they'll say things to keep you in a fantasy world or to, um, how can I put it? Like keep you in daydreamer energy where you'll only see the good things and you don't really see things for what they are. This person is a huge liar huge liar and they're an opportunist as well i knew it was coming they're an opportunist this is someone that will do anything or say anything to get what they want they will step on people's toes this is someone that will know someone else is in a relationship and if they want that person they'll try to um take that person from their partner like this is that type of energy if i want it it's mine that's the way that this person um is so spirit wants you to keep your guard up, okay? Protect yourself, protect your resources. Hmm. Spirit is also letting you know that if you were to be in a committed relationship with this person, you wouldn't feel safe, you wouldn't feel secure because there's always something that comes up with this person. Hmm. I don't like that. I do not like that. And also, this is the type of person, if they are going through um, issues, and they could be doing this currently, if they're going through financial issues, they will talk to people or deal with people just to gain and benefit off of those people. And then once they get what they want, they'll ghost that person. Or if the person stops giving them what they want, they'll act cold toward them or they'll ghost them all together. So Spirit wants you to hold back. Um, when it comes to this person, remain in control of yourself, okay? There also may be some things from the past that resurface when it comes to this person, but spirit wants you to remain in control, okay? We have the empress and the emperor here. So for some of you, this may be um, a twin flame. Hmm. This person, um, they have a lot going on that they don't want you to know about. A lot going on when it comes to different people, when it comes to this image that they're trying to maintain, like they're doing very well for themselves, or um, when it comes to the lifestyle that they're living, or the lifestyle that they want to appear to live, but in reality, things are completely different. This is someone that will steal from someone. And by stealing, I mean, if they want something, they're going to get it. Or they'll try their best to get it. Even if that means stepping on other people's toes or cheating people out of things. This is someone that's very shady. Your blessings aren't meant for this person. That's why spirit wants you to protect your blessings. For some of you, um, and this is specific, so take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't, because this isn't going to apply to everyone. Be careful about this person wanting you to invest in things or invest in them. Like, for example, um, if let's say they come up with this plan that they want to do something to create wealth for themselves, be careful about investing with this person. Don't make any any monetary investments when it comes to them. Be careful about even giving them anything. This is someone that's all for themselves. I don't like that. They're all for themselves. And they don't care whose toes they have to step on to get what they want. All right. So let's see what else comes out here. All right, give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit. What am I be listening to know about this person when it comes to love? What am I be listening to know about this person when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so 
So let's see what else comes out. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have Control Freak, wanting full control of you and everything that you do. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. I was just saying that in the overall messages, that this person has control issues. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck or right beside Control Freak, I'm sorry I've messed things up. Or, I'm sorry, I know I've messed things up. So, this is a direct message to you from this person's energy. They're admitting that they've messed things up with you. Okay? This person has some issues. Major issues. Give me more. Thank you. All right? Rumors, gossip. So, this person has been talking, discussing information that may or may not be true about you, but they're doing it out of jealousy or out of envy. Wow, that is sad. For some of you, it's because you've moved on or they think that you've started something new with someone else. So, they may be spreading rumors about you, okay? They may be spreading rumors. Hmm. For some of you, they could even be telling people that you're jealous or envious that they that they have moved on if they're dealing with someone else. But they're making up some lies in regards to you. Give me another card. What do my viewers need to know about this person? Thank you. He or she is connecting with a karmic lover, all right? And look, right under the bottom of the deck, third party is involved. So this person is definitely connecting with a karmic. They've made peace with a karmic. They've reconciled with a karmic. But this karmic has a tendency to overextend. This is someone that's going to go to whoever overextends. They want people to be all in while they only have their foot in the water that's the type of energy that this person leeches off of so there's definitely a third party involved and for some of you this is your twin flame okay not for everyone but for some of you it is so they are connecting with a karmic but this isn't someone new it's someone that they've been dealing with before Give me one more card. What do my viewers need to know about this person when it comes to love? What do my viewers need to know about this person? Thank you. I refuse to let you be happy with anyone else. Wow. And that card fell out right on top of moving on and, and he or she is connecting with a karmic lover. So the audacity of this person is that they're connecting with someone else but they don't want you to be happy with anyone else this is someone that will try to interfere in any new connections that you have if you were to move on and start something new with someone else they may try to interfere out of jealousy so they don't want you moving on they don't want you to be happy without them but they're dealing with someone else they're involved with another person the audacity my goodness Whew. All right, so they're telling me to pull one more card. So I'll pull one more and then we'll end the reading. Give me one more card, please, Holy Spirit. What do my viewers need to know about this person when it comes to love? Thank you. We have bad temper, anger issues. That card fell out right on top of third party is involved. So for some of you, this person may have some anger issues or they may have a temper. For some of you, the karmic that they've been connecting with, that person has a bad temper or they bring out this person's bad temper. Okay. Take it however it fits. At the bottom of the deck, I'm still a snake. I haven't changed. So this person is still, still in snake energy. They haven't changed. They have not changed. Hmm. Wandering eyes is right beside that. So they're the type that's always searching for greener grass, even though they know that you're the empress or the emperor. Because there's plenty of queen, queens and kings in the deck, but there's only one emperor and only one empress. The empress embodies all of the queens, okay? The emperor embodies all of the kings in the deck. So it's like, I, I'm every woman type of energy or I'm every man type of energy. Like you're, you can't be replaced. I heard foolish. 
this person's foolish. Hmm. They may even get pissed off if they find out you're dealing with someone else. Or if you were to start dealing with another person, they'll get pissed off about it. Who the audacity. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.